Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm on my bike, obviously, going to Publix to pick up some vitamins and uh, the UPS to drop off a package. Here we are on the Wustoff Trail here in my hometown in Titusville. I ride this trail, I wouldn't say every day, but several times a week. It's a nice little, little path that kind of cuts through part of the city. Whoop, there's a turtle. Let's go check it out. Well, it's a small one. What is it, a gopher? Anyway, on this video, what I wanted to talk about were three reasons why you should ride your bike every day or just casually as I do, as I'm doing, to go to the store and stuff like that. A lot of folks, I think, just only ride on occasion, you know, on the occasion that they want to go to the, uh, a specific location or uh, go mountain biking, you know, at a park. But what I wanna try to say today is how awesome it is just to ride from your house just ride all the time even if it's short ones like today this will be i don't know eight kilometers round trip something like that not too far uh yes last night i did one for five just around my neighborhood for fun ah <laughs> a bee or something just hit me in the ear anyway i'm only gonna have three reasons and it's only three because i'll probably forget the rest <laughs> so my reason number one is you get fitter, you get stronger, obviously. And for me, what that means is I have what I call a baseline fitness, kind of a base fitness. And it's not great, I'm not like extremely fit or anything, but I know because I ride all the time without even any training, I can do like a five hour ride. Yes, it'll be hard, but I know I can do that, I'm confident. And that confidence is really cool because you, know, you can sign up for an event like I did in uh, Pennsylvania, I didn't do any training for it. It was like, I don't know, five hours up through the mountains, the grind duro, I did the smaller one, but still, it wasn't even that hard. I mean, it was difficult, but it wasn't, wasn't too bad. So I believe by riding every day without any specific training, you get a lot of uh, confidence in your fitness that, you know what, I can do basically anything I want, you know? And if I wanna go farther than that, I might need to train some, but at least I have this baseline that I can always rely on. Here's our little climb of the day. There's not that many climbs in Florida. There's not that many hills, but this little Wustoff path actually does have a small climb. Here's the first one finished. And then there's a little false flat. In fact, we go down a little bit. And then another little peak. Another little tiny climb here to finish it. The way back is a little bit better. It's a little harder and there isn't really a false flat or a false peak. Here's the peak. And now a nice little downhill. By the way, I'm testing out, not testing out, but breaking in my new uh, brake calipers. They look pretty rad. And I'll have a whole separate video on that pretty soon. Now for the second reason, you may wanna ride your bike every day, or at least as much as you can, even on short distances, is because you get to know your gear. So, because I ride this bike and other bikes I rotate through, today I'm just riding this one. I, I ride this one a lot of times, to be fair. It's uh, my fastest bike to get around, but I do mix them up. Anyway, the reason is, is you get to know your gear. So when you do go for that bigger ride or that group ride or whatever, you know the bike, you've been riding it, you're comfortable physically on it, you know how it feels, you know how it stops, you know all the gears are working. If something goes wrong, you can fix it ahead of time. You just know the bike really well. 
because you ride it almost every day you know that's a huge advantage like if you go out on a new a big ride so you're going to do a big ride and you haven't rode in a few weeks hopefully the bike is set up right hopefully you're used to the positions but riding every day kind of guarantees that that's another reason i ride every day i know my fitness i know the bike I, both of those things give me a huge amount of confidence that that I can do what I want on my bike without too much trouble. It's another thing that's great about riding just casually short distances to the store is you don't feel like you need to get and wear your whole cycling kit, you know? I'm just wearing my shorts, regular shorts, t-shirt, and this cool Hawaiian shirt. Shout out to Moose Hill Company for providing me with this cool Hawaiian style shirt. Uh, you know, I normally wear black, so I've gotten a lot of nice comments from friends and stuff that they like my Hawaiian shirt. Hey, got my multivitamin and my French baguette. All right, now we're hitting the same, we're almost done actually, the same climb we did on the other way. But we're, but we're going the other direction up it. So it's a little harder this way. There's no break, but I like it better. And it's still very short. Probably only takes a minute to climb. And we're at the summit. Whoa, the air is thin up here. <laughs> um, now, finally, the third and final reason it's awesome to ride short distances like the store or whatever is you get to know your city. You get to know your neighborhood or wherever you're at. And it's honestly, it's really cool to be able to know where you're going, how to get from point A to point B as fast as you can or whatever way you like going. It's just fun to learn all the houses, maybe learn all the streets, learn all the secret side streets. It's really enjoyable. You get to see, you get to see different people out here, like on the trail, if you're in the city, like on the city streets, you know, maybe that's not always fun, but it's interesting. See the different shops popping up and stuff. Maybe you can stop in from place to place. For me, I like to ride, most of my riding is on this trail, going to the Publix like we just did or going to Mr. Submarine, our sandwich shop. It's a bit farther. Go there at least probably once a week on my bike. Go to my coffee shop, Black Cat Coffee. You know, wherever. This isn't the best city either. You may be thinking like, well, my city doesn't have good cycling or where my house is isn't good. And then it can be, it can be true that it's nearly impossible to ride wherever you live. But I will say that my city and where I live isn't great either. But you just kind of, the more you try, the more you learn, maybe there is a way to do it. Maybe there's a little back road. Maybe I can ride through the neighborhoods first, connect to here, to connect to there. I spend a lot of time on Google Maps trying to find routes and stuff, and just kind of zooming in, looking around, trying to think a little bit creatively, and then also actually riding and getting on the ground, because some things you can't see on the map. So anyway, that's my three, reason why, three reasons why it's awesome to ride your bike short distances to the store, wherever you want to go, around your neighborhood, mostly from your house. That's it. And that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me that short rides are where it's at or if it's kind of a waste of time and you'd rather just drive. I doubt there's many people that think that, but this video is just to encourage people to try it more. And maybe remember, you can do that. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments. Please do that. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. You know what guys, I thought of another reason. This is the bonus reason, reason number four, trying to make it quick. It's because if you have a significant other, a partner that doesn't, uh, you know, maybe doesn't ride as much or doesn't appreciate it, as, you know, quite as much in the same ways you do, these don't count as a ride in my experience. This is like, oh, hey, I'm going to the store to get 
XYZ. It's not like, oh, I'm going on another ride and they're kind of like, oh, another ride? You know, this doesn't count. This is a bonus ride, a bonus answer for your bonus ride. You just get to go to the store. And for me, where my store is, it doesn't take much longer on the bike than it does the car. 